morning guys, Dave Canterbury back with another video on utilizing resources. And today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about this Eastern Red Cedar. Um, I've got several of these on the Pathfinder School property. This one happens to be fallen over and dead, which makes it even better uh, because I can use this for a lot of things. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And the first thing to remember about cedar is, is the bark. You know, the bark of a cedar is one of the greatest things that you can use for tinder bundle material for starting friction fire of any kind including a ferro rod including a bow drill things like that you can process this bark down it's very fibrous it'll make a nice bundle that you can use for starting friction fire as far as a bird nest goes um, the other big advantage to the cedar tree is beyond just the bark is that cedar is one of the best trees to use for making friction fire so because this one's dead if I were gonna make a bow drill fire set you know I would cut a section out of this thing that was dried and dead like right here and that's what I would use to attempt to make a friction fire set with and all of these small sticks that are on here you know can be added to your bird nest as well and make great kindling so this tree right here is a great resource for fire from start to finish okay the fumes that are given off or the aromatic cedar scent that's given off by burning this wood is also good for a bug repellent. It keeps the bugs away from your camp. You can take a smoke bath in this stuff, get your clothing over it and things like that, and it will help repel bugs. Um, the other uses of cedar medicinally are uh, the Indians used to use the boughs to make a tea with, the green boughs, to make a tea with that would alleviate cough and cold. Cedar has a lot of antiseptic properties in it as well. Um, it's also been used by Native Americans to alleviate vomiting from sickness by making a tea from the berries. Now, if you can render or distill the essential oils from cedar, then it has a lot more medicinal value, but that's a very hard thing to do in the wild. Um, you almost have to buy essential oils of cedar. It's very hard to make that kind of stuff yourself, although it can be done. It's just time-consuming and tedious to do in camp. Um, but the cedar is a really really good resource especially for fire you can also make a pretty good bow out of cedar if you find a nice straight shaft um, you can find make good bows out of it it makes good arrow shafts and things like that as well it's a nice strong wood it's also very resinous like pine so if you get down into the into the root systems or into the joints you're going to find sap wood and that's going to help you again with fire um, as far as a fire resource goes this thing is great start to finish so let's process some of this down a little bit um, i've got a little bit of bark here but i'm not satisfied with the amount i've got i already stuffed a little bit of it in my pocket off the top of this thing and you can see right here what i've got it's real fibrous and real hairy and that's what i want a lot of surface area to catch sparks or to be able to take heat to catch fire um, some of it's a little bit wet um, it's been pretty damp in Ohio lately. What I'll do is I'll take that back and if I can effectively make fire or if I've got fire already like in the yurt, then I can dry that stuff out and use it for the next time. And that's important to understand that when you're collecting tinder sources to affect the next fire, you're not necessarily looking for something that you have to use right this second because you can use it later on as well. So that's a conservation of your resources. Take that back dry it out and save it for the next time and we'll look for a live tree here in just a minute and we'll scrape some bark off of it as well that will probably be dry okay guys here's a cedar tree that's still alive it's got a big dead you know fork in the trunk right here which this would be great firewood material but we can get a lot of tinder just by scraping this tree look at that fuzzy tinder coming off of that thing i mean look at this stuff this is fantastic fire tinder. You might have to process that a little bit. But that shaved hair off of there like that is going to give you exactly what you're looking for as far as a bird nest goes for any type of fire. You know, and if we're talking about 21st century long hunter stuff or we're talking about period stuff and we're looking at fire by friction with flint and steel, this makes a perfect perfect bird nest for that stuff so we're going to go ahead and collect some of this and take it with us
as far as resources for fire go, you know, cedar's really one of the, between cedar and cottonwood, I'd have a hard time telling you which one's better. You know, I'd take a spark off a ferro rod for sure, but as far as a bird nest goes, you know, this stuff is <laughs> pretty close to the king. You can see what we got here is a pretty good pile of nice fluffy tinder and we'll put that in our pocket with the other stuff we collected and that'll give us a great shot at any type of friction fire to include flint, flint to include flint and steel
But you can see even with that tinder being a little bit wet off that cedar tree, flint and steel, a little bit of char cloth, find some dry kindling, you're going to get fire.